And now we move on to the second rotation, which is the hoop. And don't anyone call it a hula hoop, because it is uh, far from that. It's a little different. It's a little thinner, and uh, we like to manipulate it in different ways. In the hoop event, you should watch for rolls on the body, figure eights, rotations, and elements that pass through the hoop. Also, as in the rope exercise, jumps and leaps will often be seen. And viewers should keep a close eye on the intricate catches and the traps that follow some of the high tosses. And we are now live with Alina Kabayeva, who leads this competition after one rotation. And in deep concentration as she prepares. If you've watched rhythmic gymnastics in the past, you may be familiar with the ball competition. The ball is not in the group of four in this two-year series. That's right. Uh, the reason is because the group event, which was part of the Olympic Games added to the Games in 1996, now has the five balls competing at once. And so the event rotates out every two years, and the individuals only perform four events. Well, we're getting kind of a rare look here at Kabayeva. Her nickname is Smiley, and we're seeing her without a smile. Watch once this performance begins. The smile will be fixed upon her face. She's just focusing right now. But believe me, she'll turn it on as soon as it's her time to compete. Rhythmic gymnastics becoming an Olympic sport in 1984. And ironically, that was the year of the Soviet boycott. So the first champion was Lori Fung of Canada. Of Canada, right. And it's traditionally an Eastern European and a Western European sport. Uh, started by the uh, Swedish and also the Germans and uh, definitely competed in the former Soviet Union quite a lot. And there's the smile, the trademark smile for Kabayeva. Born in Uzbekistan, now residing in Moscow. <laughs> and look at that beginning. And a lively beat to engage the crowd. She loves to perform for the audience, there's no doubt. And she kicks it with her hoop, <laughs> the hoop with her foot there. Quickly, Diane Simpson, what are some of the required moves in the hoop? Well, you must go in and outside the hoop. You must do some leaps and some jumps and some pivots and some balances. Here she's doing a leap with a toss, and she did it in combination because she performed two leaps. And how high might the hoop be tossed? I think it's going pretty high, perhaps 40 or 50 feet here. And some of the competitors were concerned when they first arrived here because of the scoreboard that is suspended from the ceiling here of Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. In fact, a couple have changed the choreography of their routines. Definitely they were. Kabayeva actually re-choreographed her routines in some places in order to toss next to the scoreboard that's up above. So Alina Kabayeva, the leader after one rotation, will be back with her score in the second rotation. And now, let's return to Jim Lampley.